Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised journal test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We have been solving problems on page number 200 and 20. Please turn to it, page 220. And today is our lesson number 88. The problem that I'm about to solve actually is not in the book. It's a bonus question as I explained to you yesterday. Here's a question, just some extra extra questions for you to practice for the for the for the percentage problems. Here's a question. It says 75% Seventy five per cent of seventy two is same as sixty per cent of what? Very simple, very straightforward question. The key here, as I explained to you, as I have explained, as I have been explaining to you the last couple of days, the, the, the most important ingredient here is to make sure that you set up the right equation. The rest is easy. And this is what we use for our equation here. This is our dictionary. We've been at it. We started this uh, percentage problem on page number uh, on day number 84. So if you have not watched those videos, day number 84 is when we go into details in the two tables that you see here, and then day 85 and 86, 87, and then today is day number 88. So here's the here's the here's the dictionary that we're going to use. Translate this thing word by word to make sure that the equation that we come up with is in fact the right equation. Let's get going. 75% percent, percent means over 100, out of 100. 75% percent of means, of means times or multiplies. 72, 75% percent of 72 is same as, is same, is same as, this is the equal sign. 60% percent means over 100 of, again, of, which means time, x. That's it. <coughs> Look, I'm not going to go through all the baby steps here. I'm just going to do it out with her, and you just follow me. If you were to multiply, if you were to multiply both sides of the equation by 100, if you were to multiply both sides of the equation by 100, this 100 will drop out with this 100, and this 100 will go out with that 100. So here, so now we are left with, now we are left with 60 times x, 60x equals 75 times 72. I brought 75 times 72 on the right hand side because that's the tradition, that's the norm, that's the convention. You always keep your unknown on the left hand side. Let's divide both sides by 60. That, that will get rid of this thing and we are left with only the x. Now all we have to do is simplify it, reduce it, that's all. How many 15 in 60? 60 has 4 15s. How many 15s in 75? It has 5 15s. Now let's divide, let's divide uh, top and bottom by 4. Or if you like, you can do it by 2 first. Divide by 2. How many 2's in a 7? There are 3 2's in a 7. The remaining one goes and joins this guy, becomes 12. How many 2's in a 12? There are 6 of them. And we can go one more round, as you can see. 36 divided by 2 is 18. There is 1, one 2's in a 3, and then 1 goes and joins this guy, becomes 16, and there are 8. So it's eight, 18 times 5. 18 times 5. Let me do it one more time here. 75 times 72 over 60. And what we did was, we divided the top and bottom by 15. If you divide the top and bottom by 15, there are 4 15s and 16, and there is 5 15 and 75. Divide top and bottom by 4. How many 4s in a 7? There is one 4 in a 7. The remaining 3 goes and joins this guy, becomes 32. How many 4s in 32? There are eight of them. So 18 times 5. 18 times 10 is 180. 18 times 5, 18 times 5 must equal 90. That's our answer. That's our answer. Just give me one second. Now, all we have to do is make sure that they are, our answer is correct. We're going to verify it. We're going to verify it because what we're claiming is that our x, 
our x we are claiming is 90 what we are claiming here is that this part here we are going to replace it with 90 and this is what we are claiming we are claiming that 75 percent of 72 is same as let's put this word is over here so that we can read it together is same as 60% of 90, that's what we are claiming. And we're going to verify that. I need the room for verification, so I'm going to erase this part here. So that is our claim. Our claim is, one more time, 75% of 72 is equal to 60% of 90. That's what we are claiming. So let's, let's verify it. 75%, 75% of something, 75% of something is 3 quarter of something. So 3 quarter of 72 is how much? Let's divide top and bottom by 4. How many 4's in a 7? There is 1 4 in a 7. The remaining 3 goes and joins this guy, becomes 32, same as before. There are 8 4's in a 32. How much is 18 times 3? I don't know what 18 times 3 is, but I know 20 times 3 is. 20 times 3 is 60. And since 18 is 2 less than 20, so we have to subtract 3 2's. 60 minus 3 2's, 60 minus 6 is 54. That was one way to take care of it. Another way to figure out what 18 times 3 is, another way to figure out what 18 times 3 is, would have been to ask ourselves what is 15 times 3. I do know what 15 times 3 is. I don't know what 18 times 3 is, but I do know what 15 times 3 is. 15 times 3 is 45. 18 is 3 more than 15. So we have 3 3's. Three 45 and 3 3's is 9. 45 plus 9 is 54. So, now, now we know, we know this part, 75% of 72, we know is this part right here, 54. We have to show that it is same as 60% of 90. So let's figure out what 60% of 90 is. 60% of 90. Well, 60% of 90 is same as 50% plus a 10%. I know 50% I know 50 of 90 is 45. And I know 10% of 90 is 9. 45 plus 9 is 54. Voila. It agrees. It agrees. In other words, we just showed, in other words, we just showed that 60% of 90, which is 50% plus 10%, 60% of 90, which is 54, is in fact same as 3 quarter of 72. It works. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. The next one is a little tricky one. I'm going to put it on the blackboard. I want you to work on it. Pause the video. Work on it. Once you have the answer, then start the video. Okay? Here is the question. What percent of 4 is 5? That's it. That's your, that's your question. What percent, what percent of 4 is 5? Pause the video. Do it out, and when you have the answer, then resume it. I'll give you five seconds to do just that. It's a tricky question, not because it's a difficult question, but because if something like this shows up in the exam, it's going to show up in the multiple choice questions. And it's tricky because one of the multiple choice answers is going to be 80, because people are going to go 4 over 5. 4 over 5 is 80%. And they're going to pick 80% as the answer. Let's see what the actual answer is. Okay? What? What is? How do we replace what? We replace what by the unknown x right here. So x percent means percent means out of 100 over 100. X percent means x over 100. Off means off means times. And four is means equal. 5. That's it. That's our equation. We just have to solve for x. Let's multiply both sides by 100. If you multiply both sides by 100, that will get rid of this 100. And let's divide both sides by 4. If you divide both sides by 4, that will get rid of this 4. And x equals 5 times 100 over 4. 5 times 100 over 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So the final answer is 5 times 25. That's our answer. 125. If we put it back in our problem, we replace this part here. We just found out this part here, which is 125. 
put it back in here and now it reads now it reads 125% 125% of 4 is 5 that's what we're claiming 125% of 4 is 5 let's prove it shall we 100, what we're claiming is let me let me write here uh, we, we're done with this part the answer is 125 what we're claiming is 125 percent of 4 is 5 that's what we're claiming it's no longer a question it's a statement 125 percent 125 percent of 4 is 5 we're going to prove it we're going to show it which makes sense because 4 4 is 100 percent of 4 4 is 100 percent of 4 and 1 1 is 1 is 25 percent of 4 1 is 1 quarter of 4 1 is 1 quarter of 4 1 is 25 percent of 4 if you want to add them up 4 plus 1 is 5 which means 5 is 100 plus 25 125 percent of 4 105 is 125 percent of 4 which makes perfect sense because it makes perfect sense the answer cannot be 80 percent because 5 is actually more than 4 if something is more than uh, if 5 is more than 4 it cannot be 80 percent it is actually 125 percent of 4 because 5 I'm going to do it one more time 5 is made up of 4 which is 100 percent of the quantity another one which is 25 percent of the quantity 25 percent of 4 25% of 4 is 1. So 100%, another 25%, 125%. 5 is 125% of 4. 5 is 125% of 4. There we go. That's it. That's all I have for today. Alright? I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.